Yo, what's up, Chuckle Fucks? It's your boy, Dark Raku, here with mostly another what if of your boy. <clears throat> or mostly, what if Issei was trained by three uh, three swordsmen? Well, three strong, strongest swordsmen ever. But yeah, not the point. Let me begin this as what if. Let me shut the fuck up and let me start with this what if. So I know it's been two days of this what if that I haven't recorded. And other than that, uh, I should also mention that a while ago, I didn't record a what if just because of my dumbass sibling literally getting jujubi. Don't ask and how the fuck, well, I mean, if you want to ask, the only reason how they got jujubi is they got arrested in school and uh, mostly they got a fucking suspension of 45 days. That's a fucking great. I'm going to have to deal with them in this mostly house for 45 days. Well, that's fucking terrific not really i fucking hate it but yeah i'm gonna get their annoying ass right now annoying the fuck out of me for 45 days that's not the greatest the only reason why they got fucking jubioso arrested in fucking 45 days was because they were drawing shit on the wall and this is literally high school as you mentioned not middle school you will expect this from a fucking middle schooler no they are basically a freshman. They just started fucking school like this fucking year. Like this is literally fucking the first like year in high school. And they're already doing this shit already. God. For fuck's sakes. I'm the oldest in the family in there. And I didn't do shit in fucking like high school. I didn't fucking do any garbage like that. And yet, well, there goes the fucking middle child. Always being a fucking middle prick. But yeah. God. But yeah, sorry if I didn't record a while ago. I I was kind of the whole day after most of the first recording, most of the one that I recorded in the morning, that being the uh, the Hardcore and Liberty Warrior one. Uh, mostly I had it to kind of call mostly the Juby Center place, and then I had it to wait most of the whole day. I could have recorded something, but I just decided to clean up my car and other things, and that's why I just I couldn't record really anything that much. I also went to get pizza and other shit, but not the point. But yeah, so if if you can tell from my sound of my voice, I am tired, tired of this shit, and mostly just just exhausted, and also just yeah, mostly I'm just tired, in just general. But mostly it is kind of like two in the morning, but not the point, like two forty one in the morning. But yeah, to be specific, so yeah, I'm basically recording this right now. And I could have recorded probably somewhere one, but then I just fucked around and watched YouTube. But yeah, but not the point. So let me begin into this what if, and let me shut the fuck up. So yeah, we go into mostly Issei kind of getting to his classes. Issei is literally, well, not getting to his classes. He first goes to the student council and of course gets his uniform. Literally, that's the first thing he gets, his uniform. Now, there's a little problem about his uniform. His uniform, he really couldn't really fit in any of the uniform for like the male version, like for the mostly male for cool. So of course they pretty much had it to kind of give him whatever that was there. So pretty much he is wearing well. So pretty much he got this all in somewhat black. Mostly the coat itself was actually a greenish color, like a darkish green color for some reason. But of course, mostly it was a black kind of like striped shirt, which it wasn't well entirely black because, well, mostly it had kind of green lines, but yeah. But other than that, mostly uh, other than that, it was almost entirely all black, like the pants were black and yeah, you get the point. But of course, with all that happening, mostly he kind of just sees this and says, huh, well, I look decent. This is where, well, Tsubaki and Sona kind of just, like, face plant for a second. Well, yeah, mostly they face plant because, well, first of all, Issei doesn't look that bad. But then again, he doesn't look like the proper uniform. So, of course, this is where, well, they just sigh because, well, they weren't expecting Issei to be 6-1 after, like, three months. So, yeah, they weren't preparing for this shit because they thought Issei was dead or something. Issei said, so, I look great, don't I? I kind of do look like one of my senseis, not gonna lie. Can I keep the bucket hat? Because I know there's no rule of me not uh, having the bucket hat. <sighs> Sona says, yes, 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 you can keep it. <sighs> well, so where's your shoes properly? Huh? Oh, uh, Issei wasn't wearing shoes. He was literally wooden, uh, wearing wooden sandals because why the fuck not? 
This is what, well, because he was already in his proper samurai attire, so yeah. He says, <laughs> about that, since you know I've been traveling for three months and, uh, I really didn't have any time to literally buy myself shoes, so I was just wearing, like, mostly wooden sandals, so yeah. So nice size and says, wait, why didn't we use magic just to customize your uniform? He says, mm, I don't know, but can you actually make shoes for me? What about your magic? So on that kind of question. He says, I have zero. Still, none. You realize that my magic capacity just sucks entirely. I've been just trying on a sword since I don't know how much I can use to boost the gear. And I don't really care too much. So, yeah. Can you create it for me, please? Is there a son that says, fine, fine. I'll create it for you. But on only one condition. Later on, you will fight, well, kind of play me in chess. That's where, well... So I can kind of question and why Sona's saying this. Issei looks at her with a confused look. Issei says, uh, I'm not that great in chess. And if there's any sketchy kind of, well, things on it, I'm rather not. So I think I'd rather just wear my mostly wooden sandals and I'll just go later to buy myself some shoes. So I think I'm good. This is where, well, mostly Issei starts kind of like moving slowly away from Sona. Sona notices and notice how mostly Issei is literally trying to get out of the chess game. This is where Sona actually wanted mostly Issei to be in her kind of group. That's why she was actually wondering if he would actually accept it. And Issei said no. He literally refused the chess game. That means refusing the shoes and started walking away from her. This is where Sona said, wait, 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 wait. Come on, Issei. I just want a small little game with you. That's all. This is where well, Issei says, I don't really know how to play chess. So, yeah, that's where Osona says, hmm, okay, fine, what other game do you rather play? This is where Osona is trying to get Issei to at least be comfortable in any game. Like, maybe it's just some kind of video game or something, which you will have to try really hard to just try to beat him, but not the point. Issei thinks about it and says, Shogi. This is where Osona says, Shogi? Uh, yeah, I think if you want to... Put it in terms, it's mostly like the, uh, this is where it will be far mostly, Issei can even say anything. Tsubaki says, Shogi is basically the Japanese version of mostly chess, but yeah. Sona says, ah, I see. Well. This is where, well, she then says, I see. Well, um, how should I say? Fine, we will play the Shogi game against you. I will make your shoes. So what exactly do you want to wear? Black boots. <sighs> fine. Fine, 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 fine. You can wear black boots. Cheers. This is where, well, mostly Sona Grayson, but yeah. This is where, well, mostly uh, Sona and Issei are just kind of now there. This is where, well, Sona says, you're going to have to teach me how to play Shoki. Issei said, um, well, I don't have much knowledge from it, so that's why I just pick a game that should be even against each other. So, yeah. This is where Sona Swatch Ops and realized that mostly Issei was thinking about mostly the even well, thought of playing a game with her. So, of course, he decides to just pick Shogi. Something that he doesn't know much about, and she doesn't know much about either. Issei knows only a little bit because he used kind of Shogi of one of the games to kind of know a about strategizing for mostly Urahari, uh, well, yeah, from Urahara, but Urahara realized that Issei has never played Shogi, so of course he only taught him the basics to try to see if Issei will understand, which Issei never understand. So of course Urahara decides to kind of move on to something else, but yeah. This is where, well, we'll see, Sona is kind of wondering how to play also. This is where, well, right now, Sobaki says, if you want to, you know I can teach you it, right? This is where, oh, so this is, what, you can? Yes, I need to learn Shogi. I need to beat him. I need him to be in my garage. What if Issei managed to beat you in this game? This is going to be a luck-based game because I can't teach you all of it now. Like, all of the, what's it called, things and other things because I got to get to class. This is where, oh, mostly, so this is, no, that's, that, well, that is a problem. Uh, fine. You can go to class after this. I need you to tell me everything. This is where most Sona uh, Wasabaki nodded and says, yes, understand. 
It doesn't matter. Well, it's on a kind of size. I didn't realize if maybe Issei does manage to win with the fucking luck of the fucking dice or cards or whatever, or, or just mostly the shogi, in the luck of shogi, then she will basically have to be contract married to him. This is where, well, she blushes a little because she never thought of marrying a mostly samurai, but yeah. But that's not the point here and there, but yeah. So I am kind of getting tired. I might end it off here, but let me actually try to continue it off. This is where, well, mostly after that happening, we go into a time skip later on. Issei kind of just go through all his classes, which mostly he has Warhammer Masuda in them. So, of course, they try to fight him 24-7. While mostly Issei kicked the shit of them and pushed them out of the way. In some of the classes, he does kind of have the girls that were just in Rowago. Which mostly a lot of girls and guys do kind of think that Issei is also another enrolled student. Which they don't know this is Issei, but he's not going to say shit. He's going to blame it at the well person behind him, thinking that everyone's looking at the person behind him. But yeah, other than that, we go into mostly that happening. But we go into a time skip of mostly Issa getting to the Parage, or mostly the Grimmery Parage. And of course, there's a word when he walks in, he hears no one in there. Literally, no one. That's where, well, or he does see one person, there's none other than Kiba. Kiba kind of looked up and saw most of Issei. This is where he has a friendly smile and waves at Issei. Which Issei tries to ignore him for a little bit, but this is where, well, most of Kiba says, Okay, Issei, I need you to come with me to the Kendo Club, uh, mostly Kendo Club, okay? Because we're going to do something with it. Issei says, Are you sure? Wait, Kiba, I need to talk to you about this. Do you still hate the fact that you lost? Kiba says, no, of course not. This is where, well, mostly they join the candle club. And this is where, well, when they kind of show up, everyone is shocked and confused. This is where, well, mostly they were happy for Kiba to actually join. But actually confused in why Issei is there. Kiba said that mostly Issei is going to join. Now, of course, Issei says, wait, 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 what? No, 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 this is not something that, that, that son of a bastard right now is telling me. In my forcibly words... I'm not trying to work for any of you. This is where Issei said, well, I don't care in the world. This is where, well, we'll see, uh, not work for anyone. What the fuck am I going on? We'll see, uh, kind of just work for any one of you. And of course, this where, well, we'll see, everyone kind of just looks at Issei and says, Well, too bad. Now. Or not really too bad. Oh, wait. Shit, I'm really f- becoming tired. So, of course, I'm actually accidentally falling asleep. But, mostly, we go into mostly, yeah, sorry. No, I'm trying to shake the sleep out of my eyes for a second. We go into mostly all of them just looking at him confused. He says, no, 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 no. Kiba, what the hell are you trying to put me in? Kiba says, uh, don't worry. He's going to teach us uh, kendo or mostly the store style that he uses. Everyone looks at him confusedly and looks at Issei. He says, no, no, no. I cannot teach you the atomic samurai ways of mostly any of that. No, I can't teach you the ways because I refuse to teach you the ways. This is where, well, all of them wind their eyes as you're hearing the Atomic Samurai. Now, of course, the girl with bluish hair and also the girl with kind of orangey hair, the girl whose name is Esip and mostly the other girl whose name, uh, what's it called? Um, for some reason I wanted to say Megumi. Not Megumi. Uh, mostly, uh, what's it called? Um, wait. Merliona is kind of just seeing this and this is where, well, mostly Kiba says, well, how about you teach us if we manage to defeat you? It's going to be basically all of us versus you. And this is where Issei narrows his eyes and says, You son of a bitch, why the hell did he do something like that? Issei looks at him with just a look of, I'm going to murder you, Kiba. Because Issei does truly not want to be here at all. He doesn't want to help anyone, teach him anything about the atomic samurai's ways. He's not going to teach him anything about a uh, Mihawk or even what's it called from mostly, uh, well, Uraha. This is where, well, he knows that Kiba's actually at their mostly the Atomic Samurai's ways. But yeah. Well, we go into a time skip of Issei having to just accept this bullcrap, but yeah. This is where, well, Issei goes into mostly the male's kind of like change room. And of course, some of the girls are kind of happy that mostly, well, they have Kiba, but kind of unhappy they have Issei. 
But this is where, well, mostly uh, Kiba shows up into the female's kind of, like, changing room. And everyone is confused. Like, all the girls are kind of thinking that Kiba's a pervert. But some of the girls don't really care because they actually do are a little bit perverted themselves. This is where, well, mostly everyone is kind of saying, well, mostly someone actually walked up to Kiba saying, what are you doing? So, of course, a girl with kind of, like, pinkish, kind of, like, pinkish kind of hair with kind of greenish eyes kind of asks mostly Kiba and what he's doing. Now, of course, she's actually the leader of the Kendo class, and this is where, well, mostly the Kendo club, and this is where, well, her name is Mu, uh, Musana, or mostly Musha, wait, what was that? Musashi, and this is where, well, she kind of narrowed her eyes at Kiba, and Kiba says, uh, well, this is where, well, Kiba's voice became a little bit, kind of, like, high pitch a little bit, and this is where, well, everyone kind of are confused, this is where Kiba starts kind of undressing from mostly that of his bo uh, boy clothing, because everyone thinking they're going to see abs. But instead of seeing abs, they saw chest. And mostly Kiba kind of looking feminine. This is where, well, they realize that Kiba's actually, instead of being a boy, he's actually a girl. This is where, well, Kiba blushes saying, I'm actually a girl. This is where, well, mostly all of them realize that they were trying to go after another girl. This is where, well, they say, no, what well, some of the girls said. Some of the girls say, I don't mind. This is where, well, mostly... The blue hair and also the other girl who's actually a phoenix kind of just sees this as a surprising turn of event because they thought that mostly Grimmery, the girl, uh, mostly Grimmery's parage, the only male, mostly male in the parage would be Kiba. They do know about the pond being easy, but still, they were just shocked to believe that the knight was actually a female. This where, well, Kiba said, <clears throat> uh, yeah. This is where, well, mostly... All of the girls are confused, and this is where well, they say, So, wait, if you're a girl, then why did you force Issei to come here? If you know about his perverted ways. Kiba kind of has a little tint of blush because he then says, About that, I thought if we might be able to wear him out, with mostly a bunch of people going after him, uh, and Kendo, I will be able to be trained somewhat in the atomic samurai ways. This is where, well, mostly... Someone like Moriyama kind of question out, Atomic Samurai, wait, you mean the hero? Yep, he trained Issei most of the three months ago. I don't know how and I don't care, but I do want to learn it. This is where all of them are shocked. One of Masa kind of just thinks about it and kind of grins and saying, interesting, very interesting. Didn't know that he would train anyone. This is where, well, everyone is just shocked and this is where, well, they kind of question if how does Mosi Yuta actually knows about this. This is where, well, mostly Yuta kind of just says that mostly in the club, when they were wondering where Issei was at, Issei might have accidentally let that slip instead of lying to them, but yeah. This is where, well, mostly all of them were in their eyes, but yeah, keep at it to kind of alternate the truth, but yeah. This is where, well, we, we go into mostly a time skip for five minutes, and Issei is kind of going outside, wearing literally a mostly samurai clothing outfit, but yeah. The same clothes that he was wearing this morning, but instead went back to the normal cool uh, uniform, but yeah. This is where, well, mostly we go into them kind of appearing. They now will ask for the demands. Some of them were weird and which Issei kind of denied, but not the point. Some of them were interesting, which Issei tried to deny, but still had it to... Wait, where am I? Wait, fuck. Sorry, I fell asleep. I, what the fuck? Uh... Sorry, I I think I lost. Oh uh, yeah, I'm I'm getting way too fucking tired. I'm going to just leave it off here. I'm you know what I might might not even uh like yeah uh no, you know what? Bye. See you. Yeah, I'm just getting really tired. Bye.